Hello friends and welcome back for episode 6 of our Rogue Legacy Let's Play. So today, we're going to be assuming the role of Lady Shinoa II, the Assassin, and we're going to be heading back into the castle for a little bit more, you know, hijinks and tomfoolery, I suppose. Uh, not to spoil anything, but I feel like we had a pretty good episode last time, so I would love to continue that streak if that's at all possible. Uh, so we're going to be looking for any opportunities we can to make a little bit more headway and perhaps make our way over into the forest area, although... We'll see how that goes. Uh, so I do want to sort of lampshade some comments that were left uh, recently. This is uh, geared more towards, I'd say, episode four or so than, than five, because at the time of this recording, only four has gone up. Uh, but some of the important things to note are that there is, in fact, a way to uh, moonwalk, so to speak, uh, to get those uh, chests that you have to be, you know, not looking at. Uh, so I, I apparently can uh, air dash or something uh, if I have that ability. And if I do it in the right direction, then I don't have to worry. Also, nearsightedness apparently will also result in the same effect. Uh, the other thing you guys have been telling me a lot to do, other than uh, what the pluses mean on the buy stuff area, which I believe I talked about recently anyway. Sorry about that little recording glitch there. Uh, basically, what I was trying to say before we were so rudely interrupted was that uh, you were trying to make sure that I check the map frequently uh, before I run into too much trouble, because apparently it will tell me when there's an easy-to-grab chest, and I was just sort of neglecting to find that information out. Uh, regardless, I will try to pay mind to such things going forward. Yeah, I knew I was going to get it there. Uh, as well as just continuing to uh, kick ass whenever possible. I think that's always a good trait, you know, if I can manage it. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play as an assassin here. I don't think I've done that... Have I done that before? Maybe one other time? Uh, regardless, it seemed to be pretty uh, hard-hitting, which is a trait I definitely value. And I seem to be picking up quite a few turkey legs. What just happened there? I think I just glitched from the floor up on top of that bookshelf, which was a little strange. Uh, I'm going to look forward to watching that happen again on the replay. Uh, as I edit, I mean. And, uh, yeah, we're just gonna move forward and hopefully, you know, maybe we can make a little bit more progress. I don't know if we're gonna get to the second boss anytime soon. I mean, we are level 30, and I suppose that's probably a level where that should be possible. But I really don't know. I don't know what the progression scale is like in Rogue Legacy, what level I should be approaching, what part of the game. Oh, another tip you guys were giving me uh, that I definitely need to heed is to stop running into things so often. I think that's a valid observation. I certainly do uh, do that quite a bit. Uh, I have to say, I don't do it on purpose. I'm certainly not trying to just tick you guys off, but... Uh, you know, I could probably use a little bit of... Uh, you know, a tranquilizer when it comes to how I play this game. I seem to be a little bit uh, ADD running around all the time. Uh, yeah, and another thing, of course, you want me to uh, use my magic a little bit more, which is also a pretty valid complaint, because I really do neglect it a lot of the time. Uh, sometimes, though, it's just a little tough to tell where the best point to use it. Like, it, it has that uh, too-good-to-use syndrome sometimes, where you just really don't want to waste it, so you oftentimes will just leave it for way longer than you should. Uh, so I've got axes here. I thought I had chakrams a minute ago, but maybe that is not correct. Alright, that's fine. Uh, I'd love to run into some of the uh, events that I haven't seen yet so far in this run. I mean, granted, everything is randomly generated, so the chances of me finding some things over other things... Uh, you know, there's no real uh, way to calculate that sort of a probability. But there are these little shrines that I can run to, as well as little, uh, like, minigame events that will occasionally pop up, and I would love to be able to show those off. I'm sure it'll happen eventually, though. Whoa! Well, we've got a, a long, illustrious career of rogue legacying to do ahead of us. And I imagine if it, it took me, what, like five episodes to get to the first boss, it will probably uh, get exponentially longer between bosses? I don't know. That might be not correct at all. Oh my goodness, there's all kinds of madness going on over here. Well, that guy didn't give me a single thing for beating him. Angry Wolf is gone. Wow, this is a pretty crappy floor. Nothing seems to drop. Skittering Wolf! Alright, oh, we got Bone Archers. Well, the Maya is not the place I want to be. It was a Wargan, apparently, not, not a Skittering Wolf, but you know. That'll give me an opportunity to uh, check out what kind of other options I have here. So we've got a Barbarian Queen with Gigantism, and what? Coprolalia? I don't know what that means, as that corpro means, like, to do with your physical essence, I would say, so, like, corpulescence, I don't know, maybe you're gonna be a ghost? I'm guessing. 
E I D M E M. You remember things with. Oh, okay. Remember things with extreme clarity. How is that going to help me? Maybe I have a super tuned map? Maybe the map's already set up for me before I even get it? I kind of want to know. Let's go play as that character. So we've got 816 gold. And again, uh, mentioning to you guys that I understand the little plus means I can spend money here. And uh, there have been people saying, like, a common trait amongst Let's Players of Rogue Legacy is that they spend too long in this menu. And I, I hear you. I don't want to do that myself. Uh, so I guess I will, what, I'll buy another weight up, because I know I really wanted to get into that whole uh, blood cape scene. It's a scene now, I'm calling it. Uh, so what do I have to buy here? Not much. Oh, oh I already have that equipped. Um, is there another reason for me to want to get weight up then? Well, I suppose I could put this back on now. Uh, not really necessary, but you know, I have it. There was another thing that was going to give me vampirism, wasn't there? I got gymnophobia? I don't know how to say any of the words in this game. Oh, there's that sprint rune. Alright, it's requiring 700 and 700. Right, the vampire rune, which is going to take away my double jump. So I was a little leery about wasting the rune, potentially. I mean, not wasting, but like, misdirecting or redirecting what that use could be. I was also told uh, I was calling that gatekeeper Charon, which is, I thought, always the way it was pronounced. Which, uh, you know, I thought that was the uh, the ferryman of the River Styx, right? I think that's where that character was popularized. Uh, and I'm told that the actual pronunciation is Karen, which, you know, that's totally cool. I might just say Charon, though, out of habit, because I've always known it to be pronounced that way. Hey, look at this! What are the odds? Well, alright, so I, uh, I wanted an event, and I get an event. So that works out. So this is this little carnival that we can run into where we need to throw knives at targets, and if I'm particularly good, uh, we get a nice reward. So I only get one shot, you get five axes, destroy as many targets as possible, leave less than ten standing, and I'll give you a special prize. Care to give it a try? Sure thing. Well, it's free, so what do I have to lose, right? Oh. Oh, can I actually... I can actually go in here. So there's a little bit of an element of strategy here. I would imagine you'd want your first throw to be across everything, right? So... I get four more tries... Oh, this is gonna be real hard. I'm not sure I might actually be able to do this. Yeah, alright, well, I sucked at this. Target's destroyed. Oh, well, I got some gold out of it. I guess you don't want the prize, Snarf. You know, I did want the prize, and I would love to be able to practice this, but, you know, you're not gonna give me that opportunity, so that's fine. Hopefully we'll run into this uh, scenario a number of more times going forward. It's a good time, you know, it's a, a real easy, like, sort of relaxing little break from constantly worrying about your character dying. Did that barrel stay alive while it was still in the air for just a moment? It kind of looked like it. Is there gravity to barrels? I don't know. Well, that was kind of a puny reward, but that's alright. Down we go. Down, 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 and to the bottom. So, uh, let's check out our map. We can head over to the right. And we've got a, quite a few spikes here. I wonder if there's, like, a spike breaker armor, like, in Castlevania or something. Oh, I thought that would block projectiles. I think I've forgotten that before, actually. Uh, so yeah, maybe you could get an armor that would allow you to walk on spikes. I mean, I know we've got peripheral arterial disease occasionally crops up on our characters, and that prevents us from activating spike traps. But I'm just talking about in the event that you accidentally, uh, you know, step on some spikes. Like, the ones that are already kind of waiting for you to show up. Uh, which happens pretty regularly to me. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, this is a disaster. Um, I thought for a second there was no way that I could really get in too much trouble in this room. Now I'm starting to think twice about that assertion. Alright, Zombro. There you go. We got a lot of intersecting projectiles going on here, which is nothing but a problem for me. Uh, we've got another little fire guy down here. I think I'll be okay. Yep, yeah, I just gotta be very careful about how I approach. I knew that would be a Doomvis. And that guy's gonna fall on the spikes, which is pretty much the worst thing that could happen, because now I can't attack him without getting involved with spikes. Alright, looks like we've killed all the enemies. I'll go back for the gold in just a moment, but I want to see what's in here first. We've got a Grace Rune on the Bracers. I don't know what that is. I might have gotten a Grace Rune before, but I, like I said, I forgot. My memory is very short. 
Uh, we'll head up and over to the left again. Looks like a tiny little room here with a... Oh, what is this? Some sort of a blessing statue. Is this the other thing that I was asking for? It is! Let's pray for assistance and hopefully we don't get the Sonic one. Uh, what is this? We've got a Helios's blessing. I think this is real good. Uh, but it doesn't overtly seem to tell you what it does. So let's uh, discover this again. Oh, right. What's this? Uh, bonus room has a question mark on it. Okay. I just want to make sure when I look at things, I want to make sure that I know I'm not leaving something behind. Like you said, you had some good advice. I want to take heed if possible. So uh, a little bit more gold. I'm okay with that concept. Let's head up. More statues. Somebody pointed out before, too, uh, that I was all excited about saying that the journals were almost finished, but I only had like seven or six or something out of 25. Uh, yeah, I was sort of operating under the false apprehension that there were still as many journals as there were in the preview build, which is sort of silly to, you know, think that. Uh, there's really no reason to think that at all, but yeah, now you know, that's why I said that. Oh, this guy could be a problem for me. Uh, how do I, how do I fight him? Oh, Skittering Wolf! Hey, you just keep running into the sword wall. I'm okay with that. Come on now. There we go. Yeah, I might as well hang out in the forest for a little bit. Does this do anything? No, it just looks pretty. I can break those vines, good to know. Sometimes they drop gold too. Oh, Alright, so we've got a little chest action up here. We've got a vampire rune for a sword. That's terrific news. I'll take every rune I can get. Now it's not quite as good. Wow, we've found the second boss already. Uh, now, obviously the Vampire Rune would not want to replace the, I think it was called the Balance Rune, which has both HP and MP uh, gain on it, so I, I can't imagine a situation where I would want to swap one for the other unless one is particularly bad. I, I kind of feel like the Vampirism is not going to be particularly much better. Um, I kind of feel like I want to just jump right in and try this boss so I can at least show it off. I did have a pretty decent run already. Uh, 1800 gold is enough for a few upgrades, so let's just run in here. I don't want to uh, dawdle too much, and I want to get our first look at this boss, as I've never seen it before. I'm not watching uh, too many other... Oh, the Forgotten Alexander. Uh, I have not watched too many other people's Let's Plays up to this point where they're actually fighting this boss, so this is new to me, uh, the very first time. Alright, let's get Lay of the Lands here before we get unceremoniously murdered. Yeah, this is probably way over my skill level and uh, HP level for where I am in the game right now. You know, that's okay. I, like I said, I just wanted to try this out. Not expecting any victory here. But, you know, if victory happened, that would be fine as well. So, our boss is a level tw uh, 46. That is definitely a few points higher than me. But, you know, I'm sort of holding my own here. I mean, I'm not obviously going to win, but I can see how I would win if I was you know, in the market for a win, which, you know, this time I thought, maybe let's just run right into the, you know, the giant plasma balls and see how that turns out for us. Uh, bosses drop large amounts of gold on their death. That's... that's our parting words? Okay, well, that seems more like a helpful hint than anything. But thank you, you served us well. Uh, we were able to find a new boss, so I appreciate it. Sir Darwin, the barbarian king of Darwinia, a walking tank. Let's do Sir Darwin. He doesn't have any uh, special traits, so let's just do a, a normalish run. Uh, so who do we want to unlock now with our 1936 gold? We've got the Lich, who sounds pretty sweet. He's got infinite potential. Uh, up on the top, what do we have here? A down strike up. I'm not too psyched for that, really. Oh, can I buy another gold find up? That seems... Nope, that's way higher. Alright, I need to have a real good run for one of him. And we can upgrade to a Spelunker. I'm gonna grab the Lich, and hopefully there is another thing I can buy after that. Masters of Life and Death, the Lich has unlimited potential. Every kill grants the Lich permanent health. Wow! Truly dangerous beings. Alright, well, I'm psyched to try out a Lich. And then we can upgrade the Lich to turn him into uh, all-powerful Lich Kings. Alright, sweet. So we'll do another health up, and that'll use up most of the rest of my gold. And just want to very quickly look at our rune situation here. Right, so there's the Vampire Rune, kill enemies to regain health, pretty much what I expected. We can stack Vampire Rune, so we can, you know, get a pile of them going at the same time, hopefully, hopefully. Slaying enemies grants both HP and MP, multiple rune stack for increased HP and MP drain. See, why would you want just the one when you could have them both? There's got to be an advantage to one over the other, and I do also want that, but, you know... 
Gotta pick what we can here. What do we have with this one? This is a grace rune, enemy scale slower, uh, easier but lesser rewards, multiple runes, stacks slowly making... Okay, so this is another option I might want to pursue if I end up having quite a bit of trouble. I don't think it's going to be necessary, but let's just... We'll keep unlocking stuff. We'll see, maybe we get a better rune. When you only have one rune per uh, an armor type, it seems sort of like a good idea to go after that rune just because, hey, you might as well use another slot up, right? Oh, and somebody mentioned one time that I had missed attacking a few bits of furniture. If I did that, that's my apologies. I have uh, a little bit of OCD when it comes to attacking furniture as well. So, uh, yeah, I, I probably would have felt just as much pain as you did had I noticed that it was there. I just may have been uh, absent-minded, distracting myself with all this narration business I keep doing. I don't know why, I just keep talking. I can't stop. Um, but yeah, it's just part of the territory, I guess, with Let's Plays. You learn... You just have endless uh, free association and just, just endless thought lines, which apparently ended when I needed them to not end. Alright, take no damage, take no prisoners. Let's use our Geometry Wars skills. Oh, man! Get a rune. Yes! Sky rune for bracers. I have a feeling that's going to be something like a double jump, perhaps. Uh, I definitely appreciate those if that's what it is, or it might be flight. I don't have any problem with that either. Okay, I don't know if I even want to go up here. It's kind of a mess since I keep getting knocked back. Alright. Oh, well, platform keeps disappearing on me. This is really not a good idea. Why do I keep going up higher? Well, sometimes we have an insatiable need to sate our curiosity. I'm not even sure if that sentence just made sense. Oh, we've got an angry pencil sharpener, which gives way to a treasure chest. With a small amount of gold. We're up to 461 gold. Uh, I think we're still shooting for something like 1k per run for anything to make sense here. I feel like that's probably achievable. With a little bit of good fortune, and a little bit of skill, and a little bit of not running straight into items, or enemies I should say. Might as well grab that. Defeat all enemies. This is the kind of room that I look forward to finding. Whoa, jeez! Almost had a little bit of pro strats there with my dodging. Didn't quite work out. Let's use some daggers, I think, maybe, in this case. Uh, I probably don't need to get too close to this jabroni here. There we go. He's done. Portrait of Doom is done. Uh, we've got spike ball enemies, which are very angry at us. I'm out of magic already. Uh, how am I going to approach these guys? This guy I'm not too worried about, because all he does is slash. But the guy below me, he has that projectile ability, which he likes to spam. Alright, cool. As long as I can kill him before he falls on the spikes, I feel like we're in a better place. Now, I don't have any way of regaining MP, so that's gonna sting a little bit. Oh, jeez. No, we're gonna be just fine. There's no doubt in my mind that we're gonna get the rune here. Uh, did I already defeat? Nope! There's another Doomvis. Okay. Hey! Give me that chicken. Or turkey. Yeah, it's probably turkey. Alright, what do we get this time? I got a sprint room for... Sprint room for helm. Sprint ruin. Alright, some skellies. Who I didn't apparently seem to take the hint that uh, running into them would hurt me. I thought for some reason that I could one-shot them each time. Certainly are plenty of enemies. Uh... You stay, you stay open, please. I don't want to be impolite here, but please. I really appreciate it if these freaking canvases would stop being alive, like constantly. It's like the largest gallery of deadly canvases I've ever seen in my life. Vertical ascension is definitely not my strong point in this game. Uh, what is my strong point? I guess that bears mentioning. My strong point in Rogue Legacy is... I don't know, actually. I don't really have a strong point. I think I'm actually pretty bad at it. I need to get a lot better. Um, navigating is not really it. Uh, hitting stuff is... You know, it's... I could do worse at it, I suppose, when I'm near them, but uh, I often tend to forget about my magic abilities, so I... I uh, probably need to work on remembering to use those. I was able to take out that first boss. Occasionally I have a couple moments of decent platforming, but they're few and far between. 
Alright, what do we have here? Collecting gold is a specialty of mine. And I can't say I'm an expert yet, but I'm definitely putting in my time. Alright, what do we have here? Map navigation, maybe? Maybe that's a thing that I could be okay at? I feel like uh, I've been okay at exploring so far. Uh, knowing when to back out of a room that is uh, overly difficult. Sometimes, you know, discretion is the better part of valor, as they say. Uh, this is probably a shining example of a time when I should have done that. However, oh, however, I may live to tell the tale, provided... Oh, what do we have here? Knight Sword. Sweet, I haven't gotten a new sword in a while. I may want to dump all of my money on that, actually. They really did a decent job balancing this game, so they seem to be getting just about one upgrade per run. Which is interesting, considering it generally costs more to upgrade something every single time. So they uh, had to be very conscious of what they could allow you to get in terms of gold, and then also balance that versus a randomly generated world each time. So I don't know how you would imagine such a thing. I mean, granted, skill's gonna overcome uh, a lot of difficulties at times, but other times I feel like riding on uh, subpar average skill, I have been able to make a little progress each time. So, props go to Cellar Door Games for their masterful balancing abilities, I suppose. Uh, on to the right, another Doombus. I feel silly every time I say that, by the way. Doombus. Sounds like a walrus or something. Doombus the walrus? Make a picture of it, I, I dare you. Uh, so, on to the right. I know I should probably be heading for, uh, towards the forest at this point. I would like to. I just don't trust myself. I still need a few more upgrades, and then I will really tip uh, the scales in terms of what I need for, you know, longevity. I'm close. Just not quite there all the way yet. Is there anything worth mentioning down here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, a little bit more turkey. A little bit more HP and MP. Let's not go there. I'm gonna be spending whole episodes probably in the forest in the next, I'd say, one to three episodes. Uh, just a little bit more. But I do want to finish exploring this castle area a little bit more thoroughly. The delicate little jumping maneuver there. Alright, this shouldn't be too big of a deal. For a little bit of gold. And is that... Oh, we still got another thing to explore. I'm looking at my map here just to make sure I didn't miss any chests. No, it looks like we're pretty much good to go. We've got a place down on the left and below, and a place up to the top, which is going to be the Maya, so I guess we just want to keep... Oh! Keep on keeping on. Head back over to the left. That's probably going to lead us down to the uh, dark dungeons beneath the castle, if we do go in that direction. I'm not sure what the order is. I, I suppose probably the forest comes after... Uh, where I am, you know, in the game so far in the progression, having beaten the first boss. That does seem like the next obvious place to go. I don't know, something about the forest seems like, well, it's hard, but it's not that hard. I guess because it's a forest, and forests are forgiving, and they're also dangerous sometimes, I don't know. Mapping all sorts of personal biases onto Rogue Legacy at this point. A little bit more gold would be appreciated. If we could crack two, that would be sweet. Maybe get a couple of things on this next one. Are you gonna... Yeah, of course you are, because all paintings are evil. I really think they might have, you know, overbalanced. Oh, take no damage. We can try this one out. Nope, let's, uh, let's leave, actually. That was really bad. That was super dumb. I totally could have gotten that. Oh, jeez. This is terrifying. Is this gonna attack me? Yeah, it is. Oh, crap. Can I get out of here alive? I don't know why there needed to be a picture of a man on the toilet. Hey, a jukebox. I have not seen one of these yet in this game. What does this do? Now playing Pistol Shrimp. Can I get money out of you? No. Alright. That's cool. I guess you could just play some other music while you're in there. I appreciate that. So we've cracked the 2k border. I definitely am happy about that. And moving on to the left... We've got to be getting close to the dungeons area real soon. Probably down here is the next way in. Yep, the darkness. The land of darkness! 
This is where we will undoubtedly meet our untimely demise. Or maybe reasonably timely, actually, because they did sort of set this up. Whoa, I actually lived! Unbelievable. Did you see that? I'm just, like, taunting them at this point. Yeah, alright, there it goes. I don't know what I was trying to do there. Well, may as well just spend... Okay, that was a pretty good haul. We've killed quite a few monsters in this run. Uh, so let's pick out a Lich. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to start weak, but gain permanent life off from every kill. Extremely intelligent. Uh, I've got the spell Conflux, which launches orbs that bounce everywhere. We've got Sir Jarvan the Assassin, and Sir Darwin the Assassin. I'm going to definitely want to try this Lich out. I like the idea of permanently scaling and building on your health uh, the more things you kill, because that's sort of how I would want to play anyway, I suppose. Uh, let's take a look at the sword that we have here, as well as some of these runes, in case this is going to be a valid or useful upgrade for me. Oh, 375 to unlock. That's an easy choice to make. So unequipping this one should have... Oh, okay, that one has a much larger weight distribution to counterbalance it, but it also does quite a bit more damage, so I'm pretty happy with that upgrade. And what's this other one? We've got a uh, plus to health and plus to weight, or minus to weight, actually. 425, and we get a huge crit bonus. I don't know. I'm just going to stick with the vampire cape for now. And which runes did we happen to pick up this time? We got the vampire rune, a sprint rune, gain the power to dash short distances. I don't know. I can't really beat having vampirism. And this double jump versus sprinting. It's a real tough call, isn't it? Oh, what do we have here? Sky rune, gain the power of flight, multiple runes. Okay, so we can actually fly, which would maybe release the need to have to have the rune over on for double jump. And that's the scaling one, and I haven't gotten any for that yet. I kind of want to see how this is going to work, but at the same time, I don't really want to waste my money. Yeah, I'll just get it. Might as well add another rune to the arsenal, right? I don't want to sit and agonize over these decisions for too long. So now, if I really wanted to, I could swap for the vampirism. Ah, oh, the choices there are arduous. 875, which is going to leave me with just about nothing. Alright, we've done it. Let's hope this paves the way for a more effective build later on. Uh, is there any single thing that I can buy? It does not look like it. Alright, well we had a reasonably decent run. I think that was fine. Uh, we're stacking vampirism. We've got a lich. The lich is going to grant larger amounts of permanent health as we go, but we're going to save his run for the next episode of our Rogue Legacy Let's Play. I think we've pretty much had a, a decent spell of luck here. We've gotten some good upgrades. Uh, it's going to be, you know, gravy going forward, I think. Did you notice there's like little X's for eyes on this tree right next to me there? I don't know if that's the case. It might just be shading. Oh yeah, there's little faces on all the trees. This one looks like a sloth, actually. Look at it. It's totally a sloth. Do you see it? It's making a little happy sloth face at us. And apparently my ability to speak is vanishing with the wind. Anyway, let's wrap this episode up before I end up just gibbering and mumbling to myself. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you sticking by. I appreciate all the support you've been giving the Let's Play so far. Feel free to continue that trend if you wouldn't mind. I definitely uh, look forward to that. And, uh, you know, the more love and support you show for the series, the faster I'll want to keep up uploading these episodes. In fact, I will probably keep doing them daily as long as people keep watching and being excited for the next one. So please let me know that that is a feeling that you have, if that is the case. And, of course, any likes are appreciated, but that is entirely up to you if that's something you feel like you'd like to leave. Uh, and that is going to do it, guys. Thank you so much. I will see you real soon, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Later!